Okay, now we're going to take a look at the song Dead Memories. I'm just going to take you through the tuning as it's in B standard tuning. Here it is. Okay, uh, we're just going to take a look at the intro section. I'll play that for you and then we'll break it down. Here it is. Okay, to start this off, um, we're just going to be holding the 5th fret down on the low E string and then the 7th fret on the A, um, but basically you're going to buy your first finger because you need the 5th fret on the G string as well, and you're just going to be playing between the, uh, the low E, the A and the G string. So first off you're going to have this, Okay, then after that you're just going to use your little finger um, on the 8th uh, fret on the low E string, then play the same notes after that the A and the G string, so you've got this. Then uh, you're going to play the 6th fret on the low E, and then the 7th fret on the A, and then back to the beginning again. Like that, so. Okay, and then that's, and then you're back to the, uh, the first position again, you just repeat that twice. And then um, to basically complete the turn around, you're going to play five on the low E, five on the uh, G again, like that. So, and then you start again. So, then repeat that again. Okay, now uh, this third time round, uh, it swaps the notes around on the low E string from uh, instead of playing 8, 6, you play 6, 8, uh, and then it looks like this. Okay, so what you're doing is you're just swapping the 8 on the, and the 6 on the low E string to 6 and 8, and uh, the picking for this is going to be E, A, G, E, A, G with the change to the 6th fret, and then just the low E and then the A when you go to the 8 on the low E. So. Back to the beginning again, and then back to the old shape. And then at this point, um, we're just going to chug on some power chords. Okay, so that's five on the low E, seven on the A, then moving up to eight on the low E, ten on the A, then six on the low E, eight on the A. So, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so when you put that with the picking at slow tempo, you should have this. Okay, so basically after that, uh, the band comes in, you just repeat all what you've done again, um, but you play that four times round instead of three times before playing the chords, and then there's just a build up on this chord. So when you play it with the riff, it should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the first verse section. It goes like this. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, this is basically the same as the intro, except you're individualizing the notes a bit more instead of letting them run in together. Um, the best way to do that is to just um, down pick all the notes. Now if you can as well, which is quite difficult to do because you're barring across the fifth fret, and there's a sort of uh, semi-pinch harmonic that you're doing uh, with that note on the G, if you can kind of bring it out a bit more. It's actually uh, you know, quite difficult to do because you have to change the dynamic of your picking for that one note uh, because it's different for the other two. So. You might want to just practice that one position and then get used to doing that. Then you know, get used to kind of moving it around. But the, uh, the root note changes on the low E string are exactly the same as what we did in the intro. So at a slow tempo, uh, this is what we're doing. Okay, as the first verse progresses, um, it goes from playing the individual notes uh, to just playing the chords um, that outline those notes. So, okay, and then you just play the individual notes at the end. So the power chords are going to be fifth fret low E, seventh fret A, eighth fret low E, tenth fret A, and then sixth fret low E, and then eighth fret on the A. Actually, it's probably worth noting that if you keep that kind of uh, that bar with your first finger and the third and your third finger playing the uh, the fifth of the um, the power chords, then you can just basically move that shape around, and then you're ready to play the individual notes at the end. So uh, something like this. Like that sort of thing. Then the third time round, uh, you just do the note swap again. So six to eight rather than eight to six. Okay, so that whole first verse section slow should sound like this. <laughs> 